Hey guys, it's Chase here on Jemmy Master Animatronics, and today what I have for you is the Jemmy two foot tall Halloween animated Reaper Grave Riser, or I guess more commonly known as Upchuck. Now, this is an item that I have been wanting for such a long time. I mean, this is probably one of those items that I have been wanting since a kid, and it's taken me this long to get. Usually, the ones that I've seen a long time ago. I've been able to find, maybe in good shape, maybe in bad shape, but for whatever reason, this one has been an absolute pain to get, and I couldn't be happier to have it in front of me right now. Um, I got this item off my friend Liam, or Jemmy Addiction, so the biggest shout out to him. Like, like if I could do something bigger than a shout out, I would do it because like, I have been looking for this item for such a long time. Now, he got this in a lot off of Marketplace. Um, I guess there was a listing that had a bunch of things in a lot, and he had asked them to ship this item, and they did, um, which I don't know how he I don't know how he does that. Anytime I ask people to ship off Marketplace, typically they just say no, or they just read the, uh, the message. Sometimes I get lucky, but he seems to be, I guess, the master at getting people to do that because there are so many items that he's just gotten shipped. I mean, sometimes in pallets. I, I don't know how he does it. Maybe he offers a... A crap ton of money, but this is one of the items that he got from Marketplace, and I think this might have been the only one that he got from the lot. Now, I don't remember what he paid, but I paid roughly $95 for this item, plus shipping, which, to me, is a very good deal. I think that's actually cheaper than what this sold for in stores. I'm pretty sure this was like $129, but I could be wrong about that. There are a few videos of him in stores, so you could probably see what it is, and I may update the description or the... Uh, video or whatever, maybe edit a uh, price in of what it originally was, but I'm I'm pretty certain it was $129. So this item is one of two Grave Reap or sorry, Grave Risers that Jemmy did. Um, they did the Ivana Get Up Witch, and then of course they did Up Chuck, which is what I have in front of you. They were both sold the same years, um, in 2011 and 2012. I have had both models. Um, I've had um, up Chuck, and I've had Ivana. I actually still have Ivana. She's just not in the best shape. Um, I got her to the point where she was fully working and basically complete without the box. But, you know, after just kind of looking at her for a while and just always kind of passing by her and never using her in my indoor or outdoor Halloween display, I kind of decided that this item doesn't have the box. It's, you know, there's some rips in the clothing. I mean, it's. I think it's just time to part this item out and use the parts for other items that might need it more. Because when you look at these characters, I mean, this, like both characters have mouth movement, they both have head turn, they have head bobbing, and they have a rising mechanism. So they've got four different movements in them that can be very useful for any other prop that may be more valuable. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, she still has her head turn and the rising and everything like that. I think the only thing she's missing is her uh, plastic, which gives her shoulders shape. And then she's missing the bobbing mech, which I ended up using on my Fortune Witch. Because the one that it came with was not very good. But with all that being said, um, I think that we can all agree that this is probably the better out of the two. And I would love to eventually own both models fully complete. Um, this one is the closest thing to brand new, if, it, if, it, if not brand new. I think this one was probably used strictly inside, probably even for one season. I don't know. I mean, like, I'll get a better up-close look at it, but you guys can already see just by the way the creepy cloth is. Guys, the creepy cloth is blue on this. If you go on any other video on YouTube, you're going to see that it's like gray or white. And that's because people like to use this thing outside, which is not a bad idea. It looks pretty sick in a graveyard, but Creepy Cloth is not known to hold up well in the elements. And it doesn't even need to get rained on. If it's out in the sun for a week, the color is gone. That's it. It just takes a week and it's, it's gone. You can take black Creepy Cloth that's like pitch black and it will turn gray within a few days. It's absolutely ridiculous. The same thing happens to white creepy cloth. It ends up turning like yellow and just a disgusting color. So I love the way that creepy cloth looks. I don't love how it reacts to UV. And I don't think there's any way of fixing it besides recoloring it with a um, uh, spray paint or, 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 or what, a, what a, a misting brush or whatever they're called. Um, 
but that that does fix it but this one has not been touched at all it is all still original it's you know the exact color it's supposed to be i mean guys this is basically brand new as you can see it does have the box and again this is the 2012 model however the 2011 model has the same exact box if i'm not mistaken and I know this item was actually sold at a few different stores as well. This was not just Menards. This was sold at a few costume shops. Um, some speculate this was sold at Lowe's, but I know it wasn't sold in stores at Lowe's. There, there's no way. I've never seen it. First of all, I would have remembered seeing it as a kid in stores. And two, I mean, you could go to any, you know, Lowe's video from 2010 to 2012 or 13. You won't see this guy in the store. Unless I totally looked over it, which I'm... I, I I don't think I did. I definitely would have seen this one. Then he was just an online only for Lowe's or something. But he was sold in stores for a few other different places. So I'm wondering, guys, if you have any information on what that box might look like, whether it's the same as this Menards box, which I highly doubt because it'd be weird to walk into a different, like, party store or something and, you know, find a Menards box in there. It would be pretty odd. Or, else, or, or But it is kind of believable because I have seen that um, in some places, but if there's like a brown or black or just a white box or whatever that you guys know of that just has like a printed out picture of them, please let me know because I could not find any information whatsoever on a different type of box that he may have. Um, so there are many different rising characters that different companies have done, not just Jemmy, but companies such as, uh, YJ and Techie, I think it was YJ, yeah. Um, you've got different characters, such as, um, sorry, I'm trying to think, Deadless Zombie, Demonica, Damien, and there's a wolf one, I think it's um, the Howler. Yeah, the, the Howler. So you've got different models of those, and those ones were actually pretty early on. So you could probably say that, you know, Jemmy may have gotten the idea from Techie or YJ. Excuse me if, if Deadlift isn't YJ, I'm pretty sure it is, but um, you could say that Jemmy probably took the idea from that. But... Even so, I, and this is just maybe an L take or whatever, but I believe that this item in front of me is definitely a lot better than the other uh, lifting characters that you guys might see. And I'm not talking about like the just characters in general that rise up. I mean the ones that are supposed to look like they're, like, they're rising out of the grave. Um, because, you know, when you take items uh, like Demonica or, or Deadlift. I won't, I won't say like the Howler because that one actually does have the equivalent of all the movements this one has, but when you take items like that, they're missing a movement, you know? It doesn't have as many movements as this one. And plus, I think the mechanisms on this one are made a lot better. I don't know in comparison how they last as far as the gears, but I would probably say that the Jemmy one may last a little bit longer, and if not, is probably easier to repair without having to like take off latex or whatever. And I'm not talking about like the Ivana get up which because you do have to take off the uh, the soft PVC on that. But as far as upchuck, he is pretty decently easy to repair. And I did have to fix the head bobbing on it. Um, Liam fixed the other movements on it. He was he, he kind of had it apart for a while and I've been asking him to, you know, to sell it to me ever since he got it. And he finally got it back together and sold it to me. But I did have to fix the bobbing neck because he did not have the correct gear for it and if you guys know when you replace the bobbing neck gear with literally any other gear than it's supposed to have it's supposed to have a nine tooth so if you replace it with an eight tooth or a ten tooth it is ridiculously loud um not good so definitely a good idea to replace it with the gear it was attended but yeah guys i think i got everything out of the way as far as you know looks and differences and you know whatever. Um, I think I probably did a lot more than I should have. But I guess this is the part of the video where we go, we'll, we will go ahead and get an up-close look at it. Um, there's not too much to see up close. I mean, you guys will get to see kind of like exactly how it's supposed to look when it's in the best condition possible, I'd say. But other than that, there's not too much detail going on. I mean, he's got the, the regular Jemmy head on this character. And I mean, it, it's, the, it's the same mold that was used on so many different skeletons back in the day. I mean, and it is it is definitely my favorite um, skeleton head that Jemmy's done. Or the I, I love the mold on it. I mean, if you take off his hood and you put a hat on him, you've got you've got a party hardy, or you have a deadhead butler. It's it's that same exact head, but I absolutely love the look of it. 
Um, but yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and get up an up close look at it. I will show you guys the box and the box is actually super cool. I love the Menards boxes, so I will definitely get a good shot of that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get an up close look at it. Okay guys, so here he is up close. Um, as you can see, he is a pretty big character. I mean, obviously he's not like super tall or anything, but as, as far as proportions, he's, you know, the same size as like a regular guy or whatever that's... I guess doesn't have any legs, I don't know. Um, but starting with the head, as you can see, it's just a regular regular Jemmy mold head. Um, but this is definitely my favorite uh, mold that Jemmy's done. Like, I love these heads. And the mouth on this thing is nowhere near splitting. It's actually, like, it's, it's perfect. You can't even really hear the gears. I mean, probably on camera, this camera picks up everything. But in person, you just cannot hear the gears. So, um, super good um, gear in there. It's not going to split anytime soon, so that's that's good. I, don't, I wouldn't want to go on the head anyways. Um, here is the clothing. Again, we have the very blue creepy cloth that I was talking about. Maybe it looks, you know, green on camera. Maybe it looks gray. I don't know. It's not a very light blue. It's a very dark bluish green, um, but it does still have that color. So you can imagine how, because it's not even, you know, very bright new, you can imagine how good or fast the color goes when it's outside. Um, and then we have the hands, which I have in bags. These are not the original bags. Um, I don't know what life size these bags went to, but I decided to put them on him because, you know, he did originally come with bags and he is practically brand new. So I figured I would reunite him with some uh, plastic bags. And if anything, it'll protect the hands from, you know, whatever. So I'll just leave those on. Although I think if, you know, if he did come brand new, the plastic bags would actually be, instead of like under the arm, it would be over this. Um, but I like it better where it's like just underneath the clothing. Um, here is his sensor, which is actually very well hidden. If you look for it, you can find it, but I love how it matches the color of the clothing. Um, it's all the way at the bottom. And also, when he collapses down, it, the sensor actually does not get... Um, covered up. The clothing likes to go behind it, which, you know, could be accidental. It could be designed that way. I don't really know how you'd regulate that, but I mean, it's, it definitely does a good job of not covering up the sensor. I mean, it's, you kind of have to take my word for it because he's all the way up right now. So of course it wouldn't cover it. But when he goes back down, it does not cover it at all. And if it does, he's got the sound sensor to, um, basically, um, I guess substitute in for the motion sensor but you can see he's got a bunch of creepy cloth that also hangs off so it's not even just up here and actually it's sewn all the way down so it's this isn't like gonna pull off anytime soon which is awesome and he's also got some creepy cloth on the back of his head right here which you can't see but i love how jemmy would just still include stuff that even you might not be able to see um like these the shredded up fabric back here, which I love. I didn't even realize he had that, but the shredded up fabric back here, you cannot see whatsoever. But um, I love that, you know, there's detail all around. So if you were to somehow get behind it, like if you're going up in a graveyard and you look back and you see him like that, there is still detail behind there, which is awesome. Um, so here's the box. I love this box art so much. I mean, it's not even just him. Like any of the Menards boxes, I think are awesome. Um, I used to not like them, but I've really started to like them. Um, the past few years. Here is his item number. It is two, I think eight, zero, one, one, seven, nine. Um, the box is kind of beat up because it was shipped without a outer box. Um, however, it was shipped to me in a, in a outer box, so I do appreciate that, Liam, but it was originally shipped without a double box, so that's kind of a shame. Um, here is a picture of him and I guess some Jemmy background, which looks super cool. I mean, you can tell that this this one and this one is the prototype because the, you know, the head is not painted for whatever reason. Or it does have some painting, but, you know, not very much. Um, so I much prefer, you know, it actually um, painted. Like the eyes are blackened and everything like that. Uh, yeah, but that's a really cool and very clear picture for it being, you know, a, a smaller, just little square to kind of show how it's supposed to look when it's down. So pretty clear and if you know people want I could probably scan this in through my printer because I don't believe that this is a photo that any of us have um, the side of the box is just kind of plain it's Reaper Grave Riser and it's got the Pumpkin Hollow 
logo on it. It's the same thing on this side as well. Um, as far as the back of it, I don't know. Oh, another picture, okay. So there's, there's a, another picture of him fully risen up in the Jemmy background, which looks absolutely awesome. And again, for whatever reason, I guess my luck, these two pictures are in pristine condition. There are some, you know, imperfections in the box, but for whatever reason, these pictures stay pristine. So definitely love that. Um, hold up, did I just say it? No, I, I thought I just read that it said it took batteries or something. It says says funny phrases. I can't do this, I can't take this anymore. I gotta get out of here. Uh, they bury us six feet under, and it takes forever to get out of here. Hey, buddy, a little help here. Can you give me a hand or two? Um, oh, my aching bones are just not like what they used to be. And it's time to get out of here and join the fun. Where's the party? So it says he has f uh, five different phrases, but I swear he had like six or something. Um, and then of course it has the year and everything on it. It's two thousand and twelve. And then it says he takes a power AC to DC, um, 9 volts, 2 amps, but it actually comes with a 2.5 amp adapter. So it's not it's not 2 amps, it's 2.5. And then here is the plugins for him in the back, and again here are the, you know, the, the shred of fabric that I was talking about. But here are the plugins in the back, um, you can see he's got off and sensor, I have him on off right now, but he does work on trimming when he's on the off position. You can see he takes 9 volt. 200, uh, 2000 milliamp, which is again is wrong. The one that it came with was a 2.5, and it says try me on him. So, um, so yeah, that's basically it up close. Again, super cool piece. You can't really get the full effect until we activate him for you guys, but um, even just a static prop, he looks super cool. Like, it's, it's kind of disappointing. Like, this one is super animated, and even just a non-animated version, like if you go to like a party store or something, you won't see something as detailed as this and as large as this just for like an outside prop, so that's kind of a shame. And one more thing I forgot to mention, the arms are actually stuffed on this character, whereas on Ivana, they, or Ivana, they are not. Now, I have the 2011 Ivana, and I know that because it has a different circuit board than Upchuck. Upchuck has a white circuit board, whereas Ivana has just a regular brown one, and they started doing the white ones around the year of like 2012, which I don't really think there's a, a difference. I mean, it's kind of weird to see a, a, a white board, but you know. Um, so I don't know if the 2012 Ivana has stuffed arms, but Upchuck definitely does, and it looks so much better when it's actually stuffed because it gives the hand, or the arms more dimension. I mean, the ones in Ivana, like I, I, I swear, they are just there was like no point in even giving the fabric or anything like they could have just been attached to the clothes because there is no stuffing in it whatsoever like it's not even just it's it's gone over time it's like deteriorated like there is literally none in there it's so bad uh but yeah so we will go ahead and have a video for you guys okay guys so here he is in the down position um he actually when you plug him in he does not try and reset the position that he's in when as far as the rising which is kind of odd because he does have relays in him. I think he has either two or four in him. Um, so it's kind of odd that he will not try and reset if he doesn't you know, sense that one of them or two of them hasn't been triggered. Um, which, like I said, is odd because I think any other character would probably do that, especially when you've got like techie items. They, they typically try to reset like that. Um, but it doesn't matter at what position he's in. As soon as he hits a relay, he will stop moving. So it's not like... You know, if you already have him in the up position, and then you activate him, like, he's not going to try and go up or anything. He won't, like, break his mechanism. He'll be fine. He stops as soon as he hits his relays. It does not matter what point he's at. So that's, that's good, at least. But yeah, guys, we will go ahead and activate him for you guys. They bury us six feet under, and it takes forever to get out of here. Um, one thing I did want to point out, I, I won't try to like talk through the activations, but one thing I did want to point out is that there's a big difference between him and Ivana, and that is because Ivana will actually talk as she's going down, whereas he will not. Ivana has four different phrases, and she runs through all of them uh, between two different activations, because she talks, she stops, then as she's going down, she talks again. Um, could be a programming error, 
could be the way it's supposed to be. I don't know, but these guys are very different in that way. It's kind of awkward as Upchuck's going down. He's not really saying anything, but I don't, I don't mind it. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's classic Jimmy. This this button sucks. Uh, it's time to get out of here and join the fun. Where's the party? That was the last phrase. I want. I will run through the first one one more time because I think it is the most iconic phrase on him. For whatever reason, every time there's like a video on him, like an activation, he he's always on that phrase, whether it's coincidental or not. I mean, it's probably because you know that's that's the phrase that he you know is programmed to start on as soon as he's plugged in. But it's still you know cool that I think every single video has him going through that phrase. So it is just so nostalgic. I was actually wrong. That that was his last phrase, and you know that from the fact that his head resets when he goes back down. So I was completely wrong about that. I, I mean, believe it or not, I have actually not run through his entire phrases until now. I've just done a couple um, as tests when I was fixing the head, but that is his last phrase. So yeah, he's got, yeah, he's got like six phrases, which is awesome. Um, so this character has so much movement, so many phrases. It looks great. Fantastic character, guys, and now we will do the phrase that I was talking about, the most iconic phrase. Oh, oh. They bury us six feet under, and it takes forever to get out of here! <laughs> So yeah, guys, fantastic character. I highly recommend this if you can find it. Like, I mean, this is this is a gemming item to absolutely get. I know a lot of people like him, and I don't know, you know, how easy or hard it is to find nowadays. I know that I had a pretty difficult time finding it, um, but I think that he was probably, you know, the most... He's probably the most easiest to get the Menards version of him. I mean, I don't know how, you know, hard or rare or whatever it is to find any other ones. You know, if there was one sold on Lowe's website, if there was, you know, other ones sold at different costume or Halloween shops, which we know that there were, um, I don't know how hard or easy those models are to find, but I would think that the Menards models are definitely probably the easiest to get. So if you live in the East Coast or like Midwest, then you should have a easier time finding it not like an easy time but definitely easier than like for me who um does not have a menards near me at all um i the only time i've been to like menards was when i went to minnesota to meet up with some people so that is the only time i've been to a menards and it is really it's a very cool place but we have a bj's near me and there wasn't a lot of cool stuff sold at bj's so it's kind of disappointing that it's not the opposite i would love to have menards near me but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, fantastic prop. I love this piece so much. I highly recommend it. Um, definitely don't sleep on this item. If you maybe don't like it after seeing this video, check one out in person because it's 
just such a cool piece. It's so iconic. It's a must have for a graveyard. Don't use it outside if you if it's got the good creepy cloth though. I mean, if it's already faded and everything, go ahead, but take care of this thing, guys. I mean, it's it's pretty hard to find and there will never ever be a piece like this made ever again. And we know this because Lowe's has had some Jemmy quote unquote uh, Reaper Rise or whatever. It's really cheap, you know, plastic, you know, ugly looking head and ugly looking hands and it just kind of like turns his body back and forth as it goes up to some overused audio. It's not good. So there will never be an item like this ever again. So definitely if you see one, pick it up. It is so cool. I love it so much and um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, um, I've got some more animatronic reviews coming. I don't know how many more. There are some items that I would love to do, you know, videos on, but I just don't think that they're ones that, you know, people would care to see very much. Like, a lot of them are, um, like, just the pull-based stuff, because if it's not really a collapsible, if it doesn't have more than, like, two movements, then it's just not one that catches a lot of eyes. I probably will still do videos on them, but it's not like they're rare items or anything, so, um, I'll see about doing videos on those. I, I like to only do the ones that are the most eye-catching, which, you know, hence the video on this guy. But yeah, I will see you guys again next time.